Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about vital sex and tantric sex and the topic for this video is on your pleasure. Again, pleasure is sacred. It's like one of these gifts that we receive that are that is embedded in our system and um, our right as human beings to access and activate pleasure is a very secret thing. It's a gift. We're not talking about crossing anybody's boundaries, okay? We're not talking about being disrespectful. We are talking about this body, the ability of this body to experience sensual ecstasy is a very secret thing. And we need to honor that ability if we want to enter into our full power as human beings. The idea of suppressing pleasure or shaming it or feeling guilty about it is something that is holding us back really as a human race. It's like saying we have this thing inside of us, but I would rather this thing not exist. And at the same time, there is this very intense, inner, instinctual, animal quest to experience pleasure as well. So it creates this division, this duality internally. So the idea is to befriend your pleasure. Go back into these shadows, into these places that maybe you haven't been visiting or you have been denying them and start befriend, befriending this idea. Get familiar with how it feels to have beautiful sensations. Take time to slow down when you're having sex. Experience touch, experience self-pleasure. Experience all these sensations and activate your sexual flow throughout your body. Allow for this to happen. This means owning your pleasure. Owning, in, owning it means that you give it power. You defend that reality. You defend that value inside of you. You don't let negative thoughts negative beliefs about your sex life distract you. So we are talking about inner game, okay? We are talking about mindsets, beliefs, emotions and feelings around the idea of sex and pleasure. If you start empowering yourself with affirmations like I love sex I want more sex in my life. Pleasure is good for me. I take time to have sex. I am fully present when I'm sexually engaging with my partner. You see what this does? It's like it's creating a mindset. It's creating a, a set of intentions that are going to bring you much, much further in your sexual exploration. So when we talk about this topic, suddenly there might be a contraction happening inside of you. You go, you know, something might be a little bit afraid of, of what I'm saying right now. Think about it. What is exactly this fear? If you feel any fear or if you feel any contraction, check it out. What is it? Where does it come from? Does it help you? Is it there for a reason? Is it there to protect you? To limit you? Is it useful? And more specifically, where does it come from? And if you track it back, most probably you will track it back to the idea of sexual conditioning that we all have been exposed to.
imagine being in, in a public place and you go to somebody, a total stranger, and you ask them, how is your sex life? What kind of orgasms do you enjoy? My question to you is, why not? Why is it that sex is taboo? Why is it that it's not a natural conversation? You, know, you might have seen these tribes of monkeys where sexual exchange is just a way of life. <laughs> it's just a way of being. You know, they are touching each other's genitals all the time. They are teasing each other. They are playing. They are having sex to solve all conflicts. You know, it's like, it's fantastic to see these, uh, these uh, monkeys just, just playing with each other all the time. And there is an aspect of our nature as human beings that we are a little bit like that. But with layers and layers of conditioning, we tend to forget about, about the idea of being more sexually free. I'm not talking about the fact that we should go around touching each other's uh, genitals, of course. <laughs> you know, That's not the idea. The idea is like, internally, where can you access sexual freedom? And what is it that in your mind, in your conditioning, that is stopping you from experiencing that? So if you want to break, break the patterns on that level, just repeat after me five times. I love sex. Your turn. Another, you know, core idea is to liberate sex. Liberate it. Liberating it means that you are giving it space. You are no longer locking it inside of you uh, in uh, your emotional states. So that's it. You know, own your pleasure, own your sex life. It is sacred. And if you want to remember just one thing from this video, start affirming what I just said before. I love sex. I love pleasure. This is a very simple reconditioning practice that you can start applying in your life straight away. I'll see you soon.